Risk has always been a fun game, but what if you don't have three to eight hours to play it? What if I told you there was a Risk game that takes only 20 minutes to play? Game Masters here, and I just got in a review copy of Risk Strike, the newest version of the classic Risk from Hasbro's Avalon Hill segment. Only this go around, it's a card game, uh, dice game combination that you can toss into your backpack and play pretty much anywhere in about 20 minutes. It retails for about 22 bucks, and I'll leave a link down in the description as to where you can grab a copy. The objective, of course, is world domination. It can accommodate two to five players and is recommended for ages 10 and up. The winning condition is to collect two domination coins. You basically declare battle, deploy your troops, and roll the dice to dominate. The game itself is made up of 42 continent cards, which displays the name of the continent, and in the upper and lower corners is displayed the domination number, which is the number of cards needed to claim a domination coin from that specific continent. There are 40 tactic cards that you will use to deploy your troops, force another player to discard cards, possibly improve your own dice rolls, spy on other players' cards, and flat out sabotage another player's attempt to battle. There are five reference cards which each player will get. This is just a simple little card that you can, well, reference that will explain to you what you can do on your turn, but also shows the world map and how the continents are connected and which ones you can deploy battles to from other continents. Six colored domination coins are also included, and as mentioned, these are obtained when you gain control of a continent. Snatch up two of these, you win the game. One thing that isn't in this box are these fine folks, today's Risk supporters. They directly contribute to this channel, and for that I cannot thank them enough. If you'd like to learn how to support, I'll leave a link down in the description. Of course, you also get five six-sided die. Three are red, two are black. The red dice are used for your attack rolls, and the two black dice are used for your defense rolls. It's really a super simple game to learn and play, and it's full of strategy and of course a good dash of randomness with the dice. You'll shuffle the continent cards, and each player will draw three and place them face up in front of them. You then shuffle the tactic cards, and everyone draws three of those, and you add those to your hand. Just keep them to yourself. All players get a reference card, then everyone rolls a die. The player with the highest roll goes first, and in case of a tie, just re-roll. All players except for the one going first will draw an additional tactic card. On your turn, you will draw any two cards. You can draw two tactic cards, two continent cards, or one tactic card and one continent card. Then you choose to either attack or pass. If you pass, draw one final tactic card on your and your turn then ends. Should you choose to attack, uh, declare battle. Battle happens in three phases. In the first phase, you declare which continent you are going to attack from based on what you have in front of you, and you pick an opponent's continent that you are going to attack. This begins phase two. You'll deploy your troops. You can use any number of troop tactic cards from your hand, placing them face up next to the continent you are attacking from. Your opponent will also deploy uh, however many troop tactic cards that they want to use in the, to defend the continent. This now begins phase three, rolling the dice. At this point, based on what is on the cards, the attack dice are compared to the defense dice. Numbers are added up, and if the attacker has the higher number on the die, then the defender must discard an active troop card. If they don't have any, the attacker wins the continent card from that opponent. If, however, the defender wins the dice roll, then the attacker discards, and likewise, if they don't have one to discard, then they lose a continent card. Once you have enough continent cards that match the number in the corners, uh, for example, South America has three. If you own three of those, then you get the orange continent coin. Conquer one more continent, you win the game. Once combat is resolved, you turn your turn ends and play moves to the next player to the left of you. Rinse and repeat until a winner is declared. Obviously, it is not as involved as the board game, and you can see from the cards that a bit of skill is involved. Personally, I like this Risk Strike game, mostly because it doesn't take too long to set up, and you can play it in a relatively short amount of time. What do you guys think? In terms of time commitment and gameplay, how does Risk Strike grab you compared to the board game? What other elements of this is appealing to you over that board game? Let me know down in the comments, and until next, our paths cross, may you experience the thrill of total world domination.